Hey everybody! <laughs> Today we're gonna to talk about 10 things that will at least get you fired, if not kill your career. Unless you are on a death wish, I wouldn't recommend any of them. Obviously there's the obvious of, if you have a lead foot, about a handful of obvious ones, we're not gonna talk about those because I'm not gonna be a dead horse. What we're gonna talk about is 10 things that people know about, but aren't really wanting to talk about that will get you at least fired. And the reason I'm saying it this way is because our industry, the whole trucking industry, yes, we're massive, but yet we're a small community. Billy Bob does this and it's not gonna be long before everybody in his town, state, in the country knows and you're done. This is stuff that potentially will kill your career, at least get you fired. Substance abuse. Now that could be anything from alcohol, weed, crack, anything. A lot of companies, both sides of the border, have zero tolerance to it. You have a beer in your truck after you're done for the day, and that's a no-go, that will get you fired right there. Some companies say, well, if you're off the clock and you wanna crack a beer at supper or in your truck, as long as you're not driving, we don't care. We're not talking about that. We're talking about you get up eight o'clock in the morning or whatever, and you lively up your coffee with vodka or you're giving a little nose candy to get going in the day. That's the kind of stuff we're talking about. You need it a little more than you should because 95% of companies, that will get you done quicker than anything else because you're a liability. One of the biggest things companies are cracking down on, the best way to explain this one is an improper pre-trip. Now, I understand a lot of guys are gonna disagree with me to a certain extent on this one because if you don't slip seat, which slip seat means you're in a different truck down there every day or every other day or something like that. But if you have a permanently assigned truck there's a lot of people out there, they know their truck. So they may not check oil every day, they may check it every other day. We're not talking about that. We're talking about guys that will never check the oil or never check the tires. Quite a few companies have a policy to take pictures of all four corners of the truck every day, pre-trip and post-trip for damage, just so you have a video record. And part of the not doing the pre-trip would be just taking the pictures and say, oh yeah, 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 it's good. Even though you maybe have no oil in your engine. No one's perfect. Yeah, we get it. You know, if you're running the same truck for two years kind of thing, you're not gonna check it every day, but you at least check it regularly enough, you know where your oil level is. We're talking about people that just don't give two shits and don't check anything. If you hide stuff, again, if your company has a zero policy on alcohol or tobacco, and you're picking up cartons at the border, or if you get a weight ticket, overweight ticket, or you get a speeding ticket, either in your company truck or your personal vehicle, and not releasing the information. Or it could be as simple as you've been diagnosed with sleep apnea, and you don't tell the company that you need a CPAP machine. Like, it's just hiding anything that they need to know. That will get you fired damn near instantaneously because then they can't trust you. If you are forming a reputation with a bad attitude that you'll fly off the handle to co-drivers, to your dispatch, you're up in the customer's face being the shipper receiver, you're done. And I guarantee you won't be working in the industry much longer because companies can put up with damn near almost anything except a bad attitude because that will kill contracts faster than anything else. Lying, and realistically, that will kill your job career no matter what you're doing. If you're a cook, a truck driver, anything. Because once an employer finds out they can't trust you or believe you, you're done. Because what else were you lying about? Like what else are you hiding? Yes, I realize that is also part of hiding things, but we're saying that is like, if you have a blown axle in your truck, and you're like, I don't know how it happened, but you do. You just don't tell them. A big one that will get you fired, if you're a really crappy driver, and in saying that, meaning you damage a shit ton of equipment, meaning you back into stuff, you take out the front end, like you just constantly damage stuff. Some companies will say, whoa, stop right there, we're gonna send you for training and try to improve it. Others will just shake on you. So that one is a slower, but it will happen. You will get fired and slowly enough, you'll get a reputation for damage and no one's gonna hire you. As our industry is getting rebooted, 
And a lot of people know we are getting rebooted because of problems we have in the industry. Biggest thing that besides your attitude to customers that will kill you right off the bat is punctuality. If you blow a pickup or a delivery or a meeting, and yes, I get it. If it's a blizzard or something out there and you can't, that's understandable. We're not talking about that. We're talking about sunny, clear summer day, your appointments at 10 o'clock in the morning, you know, you got stopped at four o'clock in the afternoon, so you had more than enough time to sleep and you roll in there at two o'clock in the afternoon, blatantly blowing your appointment. And there's no reason why, that kind of thing. Like obviously if there's viable reasons, you're not gonna get in trouble, but constantly blowing, receiving and shipping appointments for no reason. Our next topic is one that personally annoys the hell out of me. By no means am I OCD. Like I am not a clean freak by any means, but I am representing the company I work for in my truck. So I do keep my truck fairly clean. Not, you know, showroom clean, not pitch perfect, but I do keep it fairly clean. And if you have a messy truck and a tire that will get you fired and a name in the industry. A former employee I used to work with, he was so bad he had a golden retriever. His truck was covered with dog hair, had dog food everywhere. Last time I saw him, I swear his clothes were two sizes too small. His belly was hanging out, everything. Just a total disgrace to the company. And yes, he got fired for it. We're guessing his shower routine was once a week or once every week and a half. And his food bill was about 50 bucks a meal and he'd eat about four times a day. Four foot long subs, oh. chips, chocolate, pop for snacks, full lunch, chips, chocolate, snacks for full supper, and then snacks again. The next topic is communication. And this one, most people understand flat up, but we're gonna touch on it because it's not an instantaneous fire, but it will get you fired and out of the industry. Because if a dispatcher can't get a hold of you for a load, cancel load, pending weather, and I've had this happen, a dispatcher actually called me, but she actually got a hold of me, that the customer had changed the delivery location. If they can't get a hold of you, you're absolutely no good to them because you are their lifeline for that load. Final topic is a very controversial topic. If you live in the land of the Maple Leaf or Canada, we are 100% distracted driving law, meaning you cannot have a cell phone or anything in your hand. You are allowed to have it in a carrier or Bluetooth. And if you get caught, it's not a cute fine. Don't ask me what it is because I don't know. Down in the United States, unfortunately not all your states have adopted this policy. A lot recommend not doing it. Most have jumped on board, but not all. Like again, you're good if you have a carrier or Bluetooth, but if you get caught and even once, you're probably gonna be fired having the phone in your hand if you're driving. It's not gonna end well. Your cost to be safe, Bluetooth, is minute compared to what you're putting up against getting caught. Your state authorities will fine you. Your company will either discipline you or fire you. So you're talking big money compared to what? A holder and a Bluetooth? Like your costs are way less. In wrapping this up, like we said before, these are just things that people maybe have overlooked or complacency to. Yes, they're not everything that's out there that will get you fired. And there's a ton that we didn't speak about because they're obvious. But I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like and subscribe. Otherwise, have a fine day, drive safe.